an e-portfolio is a lot of different things. Primarily, a lot of people will think about it as a digital repository for artifacts through the classroom. It can also be used as an assessment tool in regards to curriculum or a program assessment, or it can be as narrow as student assessment within a particular area of study. So looking more at what the student is doing in their skills work and the way they um, interact in the classroom with the material. Um, oftentimes people will look at an e-portfolio as a broad uh, holistic development tool where students can track their growth across not only a semester, a year, but possibly their entire college career. E-portfolios can be really beneficial not only to students but on a programmatic level. So for example, a particular uh, subject area or a major could look more closely at a particular student and their performance across their learning experience in their four years, or it could look more broadly at, as an assessment tool to evaluate how courses are put together and making sure that students have a broad-based experience within that major. It could be the learning outcomes perspective where you look at what are we trying to achieve curricularly or it could be also learning outcomes for the student what they want to achieve through their own personal goals and reflection upon those goals. I think with benefits it, it can be more specific to the student but it could be institutional wide as well with taking advantage of the artifacts that are stored in it particular e-portfolio or being able to track it all the way through a capstone project and have a wide range of the experiences reflected within a particular student experience. It gives insight into what is happening with our students. I think we can plan more holistically how to develop students across a class across a college career or even within a major. Uh, I think that e-portfolios within a classroom are great for reflection, so being able to have students think about what they have read, what they have heard in the class, what they've talked about in the class, reflect upon it, and then be able to come up with new and different perspectives on it. It's important to kind of be creative with it on the faculty side too. Don't get boxed in by saying, oh, it's only a checklist. It's only a place to store artifacts. Rather, it's a chance to go crazy and allow students to upload music. It's a chance for students to upload videos, reflections, any sort of creative activity that you want to do in the class can be utilized in the e-portfolio and pulled together in a way that gives a broad sense of what was accomplished within that semester or within that program. E-portfolios give a layered impact of learning, which means that not only does it have to be assignment-based or reflection-based, but it can take what students are experiencing in the classroom with discussion, through the text, whatever it is, maybe it's a lecture, they can take that beyond just that singular experience and take it further. They can incorporate it not only into that class, but by reflecting on it, maybe they're able to take it into other classes as well. Not only that segment that they learned, but the skills that they developed surrounding that particular assignment, experience, lecture, text. I think by layering those experiences, those, they become more rewarding, they become deeper, and deeper learning is what we're really trying to achieve here 